Hi, this is Rich with No2. Today, we're visiting with Donna Davis with Xerox Business Services. Specifically, is to chat about her team's success with leveraging the Xerox Healthcare MFP. Hi, Donna. Hey, Rich, how are you? Good to see you. I'm doing well, Donna. Good to see you, Good. too. Hey, can you take a few minutes and tell us a little bit about yourself? Absolutely, and I'm not gonna ask anybody to do the math, but I've been around Xerox uh, since 1985 and have had many wonderful positions within Xerox, including production and office. I've been a global marketing manager with solutions. So long, long history with a great innovative company. Oh, awesome, Donna. Yeah, we uh, we call that the industry veterans, right? Or uh, sometimes <laughs> being the, right. salty dogs in the industry. Um, That's right. So recently, you've been engaging with your team and engaging some specific customers, especially net new customers, leveraging the healthcare MFP to help position you for the win, which you accomplish. Can you share a couple of those with us? Oh, absolutely. And and it has been net new business. And a lot of that has been forthcoming, you know, with doing a, a number of trainings. But um, we've won, whether it's been with an RFP recently with the city of Chesapeake, which are a little bit harder, right? You just, you don't know what to expect, but um, it basically was a, a competitive knockout um, with Friendship Health. We also, um, one with uh, the fact that they were a, a point click care customer and were able to capitalize on that. Um, and then we've even done little small clinics like Latke uh, Clinic, which was a really great little story in the fact that we did a training one day and the sales rep felt empowered and went out and started a discussion with them. And it turned into, again, a competitive knockout net new for us. So all good. Yeah, expanding your business. It's awesome. Um, can you tell us about a little bit about the sales process in some of those environments? I know you mentioned one was an RFP, um, yeah. but a couple of the other ones, like what were some of the things that you talked about and delivered as a value for the healthcare MFP? Well, if we start with like a, a, a big organization, like a Friendship Health, we they wanted to be able to look at some new gear and knowing that they were the the type of organization they had, they were the post-acute services, right? So. Uh, we know that they were transferring information, uh, patient information, and how could they become uh, compliant? They didn't feel like they were com HIPAA compliant, so that was something that we could talk about with them. And and the first little steps are just be able to share from a uh, from a sales rep and myself responsibility. Just share what the healthcare MFP would actually do for them. So we'll go through the customer presentation that Xerox has out on Showpad. And then we also utilize the videos that uh, No2 put together. Some of those are the short ones. Some of those are going through the longer one if they want more detail. And then of course, inviting you back in, Rich, to show the nitty gritty, right, of how things get done. And um, and I think that that's basically the, the process that works, whether it's small or large, I think there's a learning curve that needs to happen with our customers. This is new to them, but it's new and we get to, to, to come in as the consultant for them. Um, so many of them feel very comfortable, especially after they see your demo. And then we just go forward and, and um, uh, make sure that they understand what they're going to get all together for for their uh, total uh, package. Perfect, Donna. And yeah, always a big thank you for allowing us to help contribute to your success. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, if you recall all three of them uh, that we helped with. Um, I remember Friendship Health was a two locations, uh, 50 yeah. units, if I remember, competitive Correct. knockout. Yeah. And yep. one of the main reasons, correct me if I'm wrong, was because the Xerox Healthcare MFP plugged in to No2, which they already have natively integrated with Point Click Care. Correct. That was a really yep, nice. That a big, yep, that was a big, uh, big uh, point to them. Absolutely. I remember Lackey Clinic was fun. Uh, Lackey Clinic, uh, although as you mentioned, a bit of a smaller opportunity. Mm -hmm. Nonetheless, competitive, we had to do some education. And I think what they heard and what they liked was about future proofing, right? Exactly. Where can they go? And they, and they leaned your way. 
uh, which was awesome. But Donna, I'm going to hand it back to you. You got to take us through more detail on the competitive RFP win. Tell us about that. I I remember, so I'm going to let you off here. I remember the RFP was asking for one thing, but you kind of changed the narrative to achieve the competitive edge. Exactly, the RFP, and we knew we knew about it. They had actually uh, tapped on uh, ESI Xerox's uh, shoulder and said, hey, what do you know about cloud faxing? Um, and that's where we got into a little bit more detail about you know, what cloud faxing can do. And we talked initially about the, the uh, healthcare NFP. We knew what they were doing from a behavioral health services. They had a real need um, where they had a bottleneck with just traditional fax. And they thought that cloud faxing was going to be the right uh, solution for them. So they said, well, we have to put on an RFP. We need to get three people to respond, the usual uh, state and local, right, uh, that, that needs to do that. And um, we tried to sway them in the beginning of that. And they thought, no, we really think that this is just going to be a cloud fax solution. Um, and that was, that was just particular people within the organization, right? So as we know, with an RFP, um, you know, you can, you can answer to exactly what they want, <laughs> which we did. But we also said, hey, here's the alternative that we've been talking to you about. And let us demonstrate it to you. So we actually got to the final three and um, were able to have an hour long conversation with them and change what was in the specs as truly a traditional cloud fax for them to understand for what you wanna do in the behavioral health industry and how you wanna go about it. Again, this is the future proof. This is how we can, we can be your, your partner in doing this together. And uh, they, they gave us, we, we got the win. So we're super excited. We're just getting ready to go through an implementation schedule with them. So, it was a matter of a persistence of really getting them and uh, getting them to understand, you know, what the benefits were going to be for them overall. Yeah, just a, just an incredibly a, a great job. Uh, um, I think three different types of customers, three different selling scenarios, uh, all of them surrounding healthcare, leveraging the healthcare MFP for the win. So, Donna. You got to tell us or, or share with everybody what you're doing from an operationalizing your sales effort with your team. What are you doing from an educational perspective and holding them accountable to making calls and further leaning and penetrating into healthcare, maybe more than they have before, because you've witnessed the ability to achieve this competitive edge? I don't want to steal too much of your thunder. thunder. I probably <laughs> gave a, a lot away right there, but uh, let me no, hand it back no. to you if you can walk us through that. No, it's all good. So one of the things I learned uh, at being at Xerox, I was on uh, the, the national marketing team at one point, um, as well as the global marketing manager for solutions is, if you can focus your, your um, uh, account reps and put a campaign around what you would like for them to sell or you know, to, to how to engage your customers, that, that you will get really, really good results. So for us at ESI, when I came on board, it was a matter of taking that messaging and putting it all together, right? So it's a matter of, we had um, educational times where we either had Roger was, Roger Elson was uh, joined us for, uh, we have solutions of a, we have solutions Thursday at 8.30 where we pick a solution and we move forward and, and educate internally our, our guys. Um, our sales executives. And um, then what we do is we have blitz days that are either on Thursdays or Fridays. And we put together what, again, it's a matter of focus. What can, what do we want them to do? Today we want you to, we put together reports out of our CRM that says, here's the healthcare stabs that you should be calling on. And everybody has them, right? In, from major accounts down to our, our commercial um, reps. They all have somebody in healthcare within their their um, within their territory. So we would have them uh, focus on particular customers, and whether it was email, we would give them a talk track for calling. We would give them a talk track for follow up, and then again, Xerox gives us some of the tools. For instance, in Showpad, again, there's videos and presentations and brochures, and we we track those. And I think. It's it's not a one time. You can't do it just once and expect that you're going to have you know a whole bunch of 
of uh, customer or non-customers really we're looking for, right? Um, non-customers suddenly appear, but it's it's a it, it is a, a little bit of a, a of attraction and making sure that you repeat the training again and you repeat the exercise of the blitz. But we know that it works. I mean, uh, at the end of that last blitz that we had, we were able to get lackey out of it. So someone moved forward and felt empowered enough and and um, you know we're we're able to get net new and that's really big for us um, being able to get net new customers we we've got our customers and we know and love them very much but you don't grow your business by, by just constantly you know <laughs> keeping your same customers um, but getting net new so it's been great from that perspective that we've been able to 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 find new customers and and share this with them so tell us uh, from, from all this, what do you feel, uh, what does the future look like for you? What is the future hope? What are you excited about? Oh, we're, we're really super excited. In fact, we're getting ready for our next healthcare. Um, that's what it's been all about this year, right? So when you look at the, the environment that we're in, the healthcare doors have remained open, right? And, and we do have some big hospitals and things like that. But again, we want each of our reps to be to feel empowered to be able to take this message forward. And the healthcare field is a, is a field that I'm so happy that Xerox has identified that vertical with a partner like No2 so, so that we can move forward and say, here's something that we feel strongly about, that, we're, that we know uh, for future for um, secure messaging, being able to tie into your, your EHRs, you know, we have something that we can talk about and share with you. And again, you use the term to future proof. So if you're in, if you're looking at the possibility of getting a new MFP, um, why would you not want to look at a healthcare MFP? You're in the industry. Um, we, we know that this is going to be the, the future of how uh, patient information is shared in exchange why not make the investment now walk down with us and and we'll be there and the, the, when you're ready to to actually implement we'll we'll be there to help you implement awesome stuff donna so one last question what would you say to some of your xbs colleagues across the country who are in your leadership type position what what advice would you give them about your approach and what you've learned well, um, I really think a, a little bit of it has been, you know, we thought that we could just train folks and then just get them out there and 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 hopefully by maybe osmosis they'd figure it out, right? Um, but I think I have learned that, you know, if you put a campaign together and we already have all of the pieces of the campaign, it's not like you have to reinvent the wheel. Xerox and No2 together have given us the tools that we need. It's really just a matter of putting those tools together and then focusing your reps and, and then making it, um, you know, making it a priority because it will bring you, we're, we know that, it will bring you net new business. And, and we just know that that's, that's what we need to do. And, um, you know, to, to have new customers and to, to have this exciting product at the same time, it's, it's a great thing. So just focus on what, what those campaigns could look like for you and move forward. And that way, strategically win and grow, right? So it's a great thing. It is. And Donna, thank you again for including No2 in, in this journey with you. Uh, we are privileged, and it's real exciting working with you and your team. And I, like you, I'm very excited <laughs> and uh, looking, for the, looking toward the future. I think we're going to have a lot of fun in the next few years. We will. Really looking forward to it, too. It's been great so far. Great ride. Thank you, Donna. All right. Have a good one.